The major travel disruption, the worst since the aftermath of September 11th, 2001. But this time around, man is not to blame. No, this time it is the work of Mother Nature, a volcano in Iceland that has erupted, sending a cloud of ash and rock and debris into the stratosphere. That's left the conditions above a huge section of Europe too dangerous to fly through. And as Nick Watt now reports, it remains unclear when the skies will once again be friendly. This spectacular eruption in remote Iceland is sending clouds of ash up to seven miles into the atmosphere and causing global aviation chaos. Winds are pushing the cloud of ash southeast towards Europe, where panicked officials are grounding planes and closing airports. It isn't safe to fly aircraft, and that's why the decisions have been taken. The Norwegian Prime Minister is stranded in New York. The Russian Prime Minister has cancelled a trip to Murmansk. Unclear if President Obama will make it to Poland this weekend. And? A bit upset when you've got a five-year-old looking forward to seeing Mickey Mouse. It's really upset, yeah. Well, obviously we're all annoyed, aren't we? <laughs> so. Hundreds of thousands of passengers are stranded across Europe and beyond. We don't even have a hotel accommodation. We can't get accommodation. All the hotels are fully booked. Hundreds of flights from the US cancelled. Dozens of airports in Europe closed. You, you know, trying to make the best out of a bad situation. Right, we'll go, we'll, we'll go again. You know, we're, we're both retired, you know. So we have the we'll... time. Five flights from the U.S. were turned around mid-air, including a continental service from Houston that made it as far as Canada before it was ordered home. A seven-hour journey to nowhere for the passengers on board. Eight European countries, including Britain, today completely closed down their airspace. Officials here tell us this is unprecedented. British airspace wasn't even closed on 9-11. But look at Heathrow Airport behind me, the second busiest airport in the world after Atlanta, by the way. Today, not a plane in the sky. Today, we met a man who told us why. Anybody that goes into volcanic ash now is a nutcase, yeah. It's, uh, it's a very dangerous material. On June 24th, 1982, Captain Eric Moody was piloting British Airways Flight 009 when he hit an ash cloud, spewing from an Indonesian volcano. This is a National Geographic reconstruction. High above the Indian Ocean, disaster strikes. The engine's on fire! More than 10 kilometers in the air, all four engines of a British Airways 747 stop working. Roger, declare emergency. Mayday, mayday, mayday. Brilliant white, a magne magnesium brilliant white light hovering around the wings, and then what looked like s flames coming out of the engines, thick black smoke seemingly billowing into the aircraft. So your thought, first of all, was that the, pl the plane was on fire? Oh, yes, that's what most of us thought. At 37,000 feet over Indonesia last night, a Boeing 747 flew through a cloud of volcanic ash and all four of its engines stalled. The British Airways captain calmly told the 239 passengers, we have a spot of bother. Mayday, 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 Speedbird 9. We've lost all four engines. The plane lost altitude for 15 minutes, plummeting towards the Indian Ocean until the crew miraculously managed to restart two of the engines. 50 feet, 30 feet. We just followed the checklist that we had and we kept persevering and if we'd given up we'd get, we, uh, we wouldn't be here today. Why? Because volcanic ash contains tiny particles of rock, glass and sand. When an airplane hits an ash cloud those particles sandblast the windshield dramatically reducing visibility. Also the ash can get sucked into the engines, melt and shut them down completely. <laughs> Captain Moody landed his crippled plane in Jakarta. No one was injured. I couldn't see out the front at all. I, I had to lean across and look out a, a two-inch strip down the side, and half the electronic aids weren't working properly. But uh, we managed that. It was a good team effort, that was. One of 123 cases of aircraft flying into ash clouds reported between 1975 and 2008. Many pilots have reported damage. None of the planes crashed, but the lessons learned led to today's airspace shutdown. 
Look at these pictures shot today in Iceland and you get an idea of the consistency of volcanic ash and what it might do to an aircraft engine. It's coating parts of Iceland and its inhabitants. Today, volcanologists said that right now it's impossible to predict how much longer this Icelandic volcano will continue belching ash into the atmosphere. Could be days, could be years. And depending on which way the winds blow, there could be a lot, lot more disruption to come in our skies. I'm Nick Watt for Nightline in London.